Welcome back. As we mentioned, at the end of July, the U.S. Department of Transportation issued a new requirement for accessible bathrooms on single aisle airplanes. The move is being held by a number of groups that support people with disabilities, but some say it's only a step towards fully accessible air travel. Joining us is Chief Policy Officer at Paralyzed Veterans of America, Heather Ainsley. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me this morning. So this role change is very significant because it's difficult. Uh, my grandmother, she is disabled. It's difficult for someone to travel on an airplane right now currently, especially with the tight aisles. And I can't even imagine getting into a restroom. Exactly. You're 100 percent correct. It is very difficult for passengers with disabilities and our aging uh, citizens to be able to travel in air in air travel today. So with the bathrooms, this new rule that's taking effect, they are responsible for having those grab bars, which help people get up, maybe sit down. Uh, they also have to have those accessible faucets available on single aisle airplanes. What does that mean for the airline industry? What this means is that people with disabilities will be able to finally um, access a lavatory in flight uh, to take care of basic bodily needs. Uh, today, those passengers have to uh, aren't able to use a lavatory. They have to dehydrate themselves. They have to fast sometimes for up to a day, which can be harmful. They may even have to soil themselves because they don't have access to a lavatory. So in the future, larger single aisle aircraft will have um, a fully accessible lavatory. In the, the shorter term future, there will be more accessible features like those that you mentioned, like grab bars and things that help people be able to use a lavatory. And this is a decades long fight in the making, but unfortunately more still needs to be done. Now this will take some time to facilitate. Uh, they have until 2026 to uh, comply with this particular mandate, but looking ahead, what else needs to be done to help this community? So air travel today just simply isn't designed to meet the needs of passengers with disabilities, particularly those who use assistive devices like wheelchairs. Uh, the law just doesn't require some of the specific accessibility features, the physical and other accessibility features that are in other modes of transportation. And that's why we're calling on Congress to make sure that the next FAA reauthorization includes meaningful reforms so that passengers with disabilities, the aging community are able to travel with with dignity in air travel. Yeah, and I know it's difficult for a lot of people. Some say it's a last resort for them to actually fly over driving or even taking a bus or a train. Um, really quickly, we're almost out of time. Are you all lobbying for any particular funding to be able to pull this off? You know, what we're advocating for right now is the reauthorization and the requirements that would go into effect to ensure that the Department of Transportation is keeping track of what's happening in terms of accessibility, but also so that we're increasing the requirements for training um, and, and other features that will make air travel safer and more humane uh, for all passengers, including those with disabilities. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate it.